Okay, so in this video we'll be looking at adding and subtracting algebra stuff. The goal is to simplify this, and what we mean by that is to write it in the simplest, neatest way possible. So continuing on from last time, we would picture 2x as two boxes of Smarties. Then the 4 would mean four extra single Smarties on the side there. Then the 3x would mean three boxes of Smarties. And finally, the 6 would mean 6 extra single Smarties on the side there. So if you're ever confused with what to do when you're trying to simplify stuff, I would like you to imagine a picture like this. Okay, and quite often simplifying is just writing down what you see. Okay, counting everything that you see, and that's all there is to it. It's almost literally just counting. Okay, so we can start by only counting how many boxes we have. That would mean how many x's we have. I've got two of them on the left and three of them on the right. So altogether, two plus three gives us five boxes in total. So five x. Then we just count up how many extra smarties we have on the side. I've got four of them on the left and six of them on the right. So altogether, four plus six gives us 10 extra smarties in total. So that's gonna be a plus 10 at the end. Now at this point we're finished, we're done. That's the best way to describe the picture we see in front of us. Okay, and with the picture I think it's pretty clear, but a big mistake we often see is that people are tempted to combine the 5 and 10 into a 15, but that is very, very wrong. And the most obvious way to see why it's wrong is because, well, 15x means 15 boxes, and that looks like this. Um, that's a totally different story to what we've actually got. Okay, so don't be surprised if your simplest answer at the end has maybe something with an X attached and a number off to the side by itself. When we've got two completely different objects in front of us, the best we can do is to just group them up like that and say we've got five boxes and 10 Smarties. So five X plus 10, and there's nothing more we can do with that. Let's run one with some subtraction. Uh, we'll try and start stripping back the detail in our pictures so it's a bit more realistic in terms of what you can draw or imagine if need be. So there's a 7x. So we're thinking seven boxes then. And now like before, we want to handle the boxes and the extra smarties separately. So it might be easiest to scan across and see if we can find any other x guy to deal with first. So we see there's a minus x here. Now remember what I've said before, where each plus or minus sign applies only to the thing directly after it. So the minus here hits the x and only the x. Now x with no number just means a single box. So that means we need to take away one of these boxes, and that leaves us with only six boxes remaining. So it's going to be 6x. So let's look at the extra numbers at the end. Uh, we start with a negative 8. So we might even bring back the number line from ages ago. Just remember, we could picture negative 8 like this. Then the plus 5 means we go back up by 5, and that lands us on negative 3. So that means altogether, the pink numbers must give us a minus 3 at the end there, and that's our extra numbers done. Once again, we can't go further with this because there's no sense in mixing the two different types of objects the boxes and the smarties or something, okay? All right, we'll finish by looking at one more example, and this time we'll try even not drawing anything at all. Now, at the beginning, if you find this a little challenging, you should definitely still draw it out, but we'll try it once without. So this guy might look a bit scary, but let's take a bit at a time. We start with the 3x square, so you might want to think of x square as some kind of object that's different to x, and we've got three of him. So we're going to look for any other x squares we can see here. Okay, now we're here, we've got to be careful and ignore the negative 4x for now, because x square is a different beast to x itself. So we can't group them together, we can't count them together. The only other x square we see is this minus 2x square over here. So we're counting the x squares here. If I have three of them and I take away two of them, I'll only have one left. You could write 1x square, but usually when we just have one of something, we can just write x square itself like that, and it automatically means I only have one copy of him. Okay, so that's all the x squares done. Let's move to the next thing we see, so the negative 4x. 
So now we're counting single copies of X, but I don't see any other ones. So that means we just need to put him across all by himself. Boohoo. Okay, now we see a 2Y. So that's yet another different object. So now we're on the lookout for other copies of Y we might have here. And we see there are eight of them being added here. So that means we have two of them, plus another eight of them. And so in total, that gives us 10 copies of Y to add here. And now it looks like there's still a lot going on here, but that's as far as we can go. How do we know? Because all three of these guys are different objects. We have the X squares, we have the X's, we have the Y's, and all of these guys are completely different beasts. So that's all the counting we can do. We've counted the total for each of those objects, and that's the best we can do. So that's how we add and subtract with algebra. It's just about counting how many of each object you have. Just be on the lookout for objects that are the same, okay, and total them up. And you're done when you've counted the total for each different object you're dealing with. So that's all. Thanks for watching. See you around.